newcomers who are just watching me i'm not very good at uh, intros but uh i don't know why i can't seem to find one that just uh sticks with me but um i'm eldori crow and uh if you're watching my videos you obviously know what i'm about um but this this tutorial is going to be about my experiences with samael the archangel archdaemon um of the Abrahamic system. I have a bunch of notes that I've written down the last couple of weeks. It's been about, uh, I think I started working with them August 2nd, but every time I want to um, make a video, he literally stops me from doing it. And um, I start getting this overwhelming doubt within myself. And I know now why it's part of his initiatory um, initiation for me anyways through the clipothic uh, sphere samael now if anybody doesn't know who what the clipoth is or the dark tree the night side tree there's lots of videos um go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, kabbalah and uh, the system that uh, a lot of actually occultists work with um the clipothic energies they're basically aligned with the planets and um it's very planetary energy but uh they have the ruling gatekeepers and gods uh that govern over the realms of the planets and uh yeah so let's see if i can get through this video i've been working with uh samuel I'll put the date down august 1st so yeah it's, it's august 20th um, and it's funny because Mars is in Gemini right now and Samuel is Mars. So once again, everything always aligns without me even knowing. But uh, apparently I'm not an astrologer and I don't really follow the planets that much unless I'm working with the, the spirit of, of that uh, planet, which most of them are related <laughs> to the planets. So, but it's just, it's very... Uh, uh, interesting when i see things on 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 social media that align with my work without me knowing that's that's how i know it's flowing you know anyways so samuel at first i'm just there's so much about samuel um is he lucifer no is he satan no however do they all come from the same energy source? Yes. Is it possible that they are the same, just interacting in different faces? Yes. Um, but the way I work with them is individually and I treat them as their, their own sentient beings and I give them that respect and honor as their own master, you know? Um, but anyways. This is the path of the dragon. This is very draconian magic. Um, <clears throat> so, let's just start off with who is Samael. Samael is referenced in uh, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, which is all the Abrahamic uh, belief systems that's branched off into their own uh, sect, cults, you know. Uh, but he is referenced as the Dark One or and Satan and the Grim Reaper, the Angel of Death. Um, and he is very heavily connected to Gnosticism, Gnostics. Uh, uh, when the first couple of days of me 
invoking Samael before I would go to sleep, I was flooded with visions and images of Gnostic symbols. Um, do some research on Gnosticism. There's lots out there and you'll understand a little bit of who Yalzabah both is and how there's a link to him and Samael. Um, even Michael Ford talks about, about it in one of his videos. I don't know what his video is called, but and in the Bible of the Adversary, um, there's a whole chapter on Yasabal, both in Samael. Now, Samael and Lilith are the antithesis of Eve and Adam. Okay, they're, they're opposing opposites. And they represent that passion, that inspiration, that uh, infernal darkness of passion and um, motivation. But going through the first two clippas, shells, husks of Nama and Lilith and Samael is a whole uh, process of initiation. But right now I'm going to talk about Samael because there's lots of stuff you guys have seen on my page. I work heavily with Lilith. Lilith is like uh, that spirit really um, can take over me. She works very well with me very Lilithian <laughs> spirit I am and it is only uh, right for me to start working with her consort Samael. <sighs> now Samael was the the archangel in the Kabbalah in the uh, Abrahamic belief systems who uh, was the one that carried out the punishments for uh, Elohim God Yahweh but that's kind of twisted that's why you have to do some research on Gnosticism because it's another side of Christianity that you haven't heard and it's been hidden from the church because of how um, the things, how the apostles, those apostles uh, talk about Yazabal both and who this archon is with the seven archons, Jehovah and all that stuff and Christ too. I also started seeing Christ forming into a female. And I was like, whoa. But that comes in Gnosticism because Christ is actually apparently the mm, emanation of, I'm going to say this word right, Barbello, which is Sophia. Sophia. She's the rebel uh, feminine energy of this uh, entirety, 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 all of the all spirit, which is the all all that is you can't know what this energy is it's just like the, the all the source it's a source and it's above jehovah and it's above um all the archons and then through that uh sophia was created but i don't want to talk about all that because it's very there's lots you have to do your own research i'm here to talk about my experiences with semiel semiel is the fallen angel he is the, the he is truly the adversary um he he's the one that illuminated uh, humanity he's the one that gave eve the gave eve his seed to create cain who obviously is the first Satanist, the first murderer. Um, he is also the one that copulated with Lilith after she left the Garden of Eve to create millions and millions of demons. He is that. Um, there's many different falls of the angels in different groups. The, there's the Watchers that fell in a different time than Lucifer fell. Lucifer and his fallen angels fell more in the beginning then it seems like Zazel and Shemyaza fell at a different time, and then Samael. Because if you think about it, the stories don't um, come together in a perfect timeline. It's kind of like there was different angels, different groups that fell um, throughout man mankind time. <sighs> now... The invocations from the Sitra Ara 
are very powerful and that's what I was using. I also used some stuff from my really good friend, my brother Demetrius from um, Lilith's Legion uh, that banishes imposters before you do inv invocations. Um, you can go on his channel and look for his uh, his uh, his videos on Samael, and uh, there's lots of stuff there, and it's very powerful. And the way he does it, the way he does an invocation, is he always calls the spirits from the left side of God, which seems to work, and um, the the effects are actually very potent. And that's where all of our meditations and invocations come from, is calling uh, the spirit from the left side of Elohim, Atum, um, just the the light side, the God, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, now, when working with Samuel's fear, uh, there is his emissaries, the four emissaries, Salafiel, Marardiel, Ahel and Lachatzel, and these are his extensions of his personality, I guess you could say. They represent him. Um, they are very, very uh, <laughs> powerful. Uh, the first emissary is Salafiel, and he is called the sub subserviting, subverting one, subsert, subsvert, subverting one, overthrows that which holds lofty positions. Um, restriction restrictions of urges from the from the thoughtful light, which is the Eon Suf or Sof Eon Sof. Okay, I don't know why I said it Suf. Um, he is the adversary of the Arconic rulers and aspects. He's this energy, the Salafiel, is the one that's that will free you and detach from the false light. You gotta remember this is anti-cosmic system. It is a system where th working through, th working with these spirits, they will teach you how to um, take the tree of life and absorb it in you and destroy it because it's limit, it limits itself. Therefore it limits you. These anti-cosmic forces want nothing to go back into the nothing, into the zero where um, there is nothing but pure power, I guess, you know? Um, and you will start feeling that. You will start feeling more detached from here and wanting to go back to that nothing and not exist. It's a very strange feeling. Now, um, and this is also information you can find on Gnosticism and with how they perceived reality, you know? How we are just actually vessels that are trapped here in the material and Samael did say this to me referenced this to me um, when I was receiving uh, gnosis from him I started to see all these Gnostic things and I started to talk to him um, I said to him actually he said to me we were like talking um, telepathically and uh, he said, all physical realms are illusions of the false light of manifestation. Uh, and that sets you in a limitation here. It limits you because you don't see past it. You, see, you focus so much on here. And the beauty of this reality is so delusional in a way because it takes you away from your ascension. You, you know... Um, and you forget the purpose here because you're so involved with 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 life the good and the bad the good and the bad you're trapped in its beauty and in its in its totality and i said to samuel and i said well what the hell everything i've created what what is the point of me creating things creating my music doing rituals what is the, like you know and he said, all you have created, all that you've created has now limit, limited you because you are, you are attached to it. And, and these are just illusions. And I said, well, but why? You know, why? I don't fucking understand. And Samuel said to me, my madness will set you free, but be, but be prepared to be free from the madness that, in which you have entered. 
you know and it's like oh jesus fuck um that's some heavy duty uh, isolation <sighs> but if you're strong enough and you're in balance and you can take this and and separate your magical path and your occult studies and practices and still live a normal life without taking it too 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 literally and destroying yourself because you do have to destroy yourself that is part of initiation to create better but it kind of contradicts itself it's like why do we have to keep creating ourselves if it really doesn't fucking matter and he said to me, it doesn't matter because it's already been done. You've already died. There is, this place has already imploded. The galaxies have already crashed. There's already black holes. It's already happened. We are time travelers, you know, and he, he's expressing it. He has a huge connection with CERN. Um, time traveling is what we do. Recar being reincarnated and incarnated does not mean it's in the future if i die today i could wake up tomorrow in ancient egypt that's how it works i can wake up in the future i can wake up um uh, five years after i die there is no linear time it is it's already there so we've already we've already destroyed we're already gone we're already not we don't exist but we do and right now we're living through this memory and i think that's the thing is like we're stuck through this maze this this matrix because we're still here um i don't know more and we're not supposed to know everything and don't get it like mistaken don't think that certain people out here that know everything they're not going to allow you to know everything even if you think you've gotten the most amazing gnosis that's only what they let you know you're not gonna know everything you think you know okay that's just ego um we're trapped here but it but it doesn't matter because in the end there is no end and there's no beginning we're just fucking flowing and i think there will be a time in our ascension where we can just get off but i'm not sure you know i'm not all knowing <laughs> now um the priest the priest pistis sophia very interesting is the rebel goddess that created Yaz Yazazabal both without permission from the all basically and through her rebellion and wanting to do what she wanted to do she created this misformed creature that has a face of a lion and a snake and he was a physical being i think he was physical no he's the one that made the, the material world and he he wasn't aware that there was something higher than him he thought he was the the all-knowing god you know kind of like yahweh jehovah but this is where i'm a little confused <sighs> um but he also the, the the gods the higher gods saw this abomination and um tricked yeah yes i was yeah and got him to blow life into the humans and when he did that he actually put in the essence of sophia the knowledge this black flame where we can actually um, obtain more wisdom than he thought we could and more powerful than he than what he is is this all true i don't fucking know this is the mythology okay um, but there is links to everything. Now he created uh, seven archons, uh, which is Ioa, Saboth, Anonias, Alorias, Ordorias, Astrophios. I don't know. I'm not saying if I'm pronouncing it properly, but um, he also is um, kept on showing me Jupiter, and he's not connected to Jupiter. He's connected to Mars and mercury apparently and i'm well my uh star sign is is mercury but anyways i don't know i was getting jupiter so whatever that means i don't know um now <laughs> he's kind of with me he had a little bit of a humor to him um i was like well how can i learn more and he's like well becoming insane <laughs> Like, what? Fuck. 
Mates. <laughs> Dark intellect, insanity um, becomes wisdom. Illusions are poisoned or something like that, you know. Now, these are the effects of Samuel, what he's done in the last two weeks. Um, crazy amount of images and visions before I go to bed. Being, I'm, I'm not so much in the dark realms, I'm a lot in the celestial realms, which is really interesting because he is both, uh, he is the ruler of the celestial and the infernal, but right now he's taking me, even though I'm working through the clip path and the dark tree, I'm still going, I guess I'm going through a tunnel, I don't know, but I'm in the celestial realms and there's a, uh, let me just tell you, I had people that I know of who work very heavily with Samael who are visiting me in my dreams so that's confirmation that uh samuel's with wants me to see these people because they're his people but i don't even talk to them i don't even think about them but they were in my, they come in my dreams um feeling trapped like he's pushing me to be more than i am and i do feel trapped in my situation but uh there's this passion and urge of wanting to break free from things um, <sighs> last night I had a very rough night I was doubting myself crying perjurance yeah. I I was gonna be lazy today but he's been able to remove some things and push me to to motivate me more um, because I can see where I need to be now I can see what I need to do and I always always do but I get lazy and you know these gods these ancient gods are always here they always come in my life at the time when I really need them to, to be motivated and pushed um, I could feel sorry for myself I could I could old memories start to come back and my soul returning and pieces of fractal whatever it's all been part of my life so I'm used to that um, but Samuel is is he's a different energy he I, I watched a lot of people's experiences and they talk about the, the war aspect of him um, I have not been confronted with anything like that but I have been able to use him in getting someone who which was driving me fucking insane to be to to submit to me overnight and totally change their demeanor and Samael is that he is the um, he's the one that can bring your enemies to your to to your submission um, are not just enemies just people that uh, are in your way you know But the, there will be purging and shame. I started feeling ashamed of things, but it's part of of the process, you know. Um, now, he's extremely protective. I was in the first, maybe the first week working with him. I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna just call him Maman for some reason. I started seeing someone on TikTok. Uh, talking about Maman, I was like, oh, I haven't worked with this entity in years. I never really got a good uh, relationship with him, but something was telling me to call him. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him. So I'm doing invocations of him calling Maman, you know, seeing it, the, the thing in my head. I'm, I can start to feel a presence. And then all of a sudden, Samael comes right in and blocks this from happening. And I'm like, whoa, like I was trying to, very hard to connect. And then I can see Samuel's uh, sigil coming and blocking the sigil of Maman and totally just trying to stop me from doing this. Now, I don't know what that means. It can mean many things. It could mean he just wants me to work with him alone. It could mean something about Maman I don't know yet. You know, you never know. I could have some past issues with him I don't fucking know what's going on but uh, he protected me very very quickly almost as fast as Lucifer off a call um, protected me like Lucifer is one of my protectors and he's very protective but Samuel is very protective now um, I do know that they do work with uh, us differently being female and uh, male practitioners they're a little when uh, these uh, 
demonic forces are a little bit more gentler and show a different type of side unless it's needed in your ascension but um he's pushing me and um he is making me think about a million billion things like going into kind of a madness state over you know just blah, 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 images 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 it's insane you, you i can see where the insanity comes from that's the poison of of, of samuel and it's adrum adrum malik um, that actually is the the one that holds the chalice of the poison. He's like the gatekeeper of Samael. It's weird, but um, he's really fucking cool to, to, to witness. He's beautiful. He has like this donkey mule face with peacock feathers. Um, they took me into this cave with with I don't know dead bodies everywhere There's, i was in a really weird infernal realm but uh, i did get um a mark on my astral body from samael um i won't say what it is but uh he does mark your astral body um my friend uh, even talked about th this mark that he'll give to on your third eye but he didn't mark my third eye he marked something else um I did have a lot of Nephilim come in my dreams and have sexual uh, intercourse with me, the Nephilim. I love when they come into my realms. They are huge giants, people. Like, they just look like giant. Well, that's how they manifest for me. Just really gigantic human people that are perfect, gorgeous looking. <laughs> now, um... Okay, so Salaf, I kind of derailed here. So, working with the four emissaries, Salafayal opens Wisdom of Chaos. I'm just going to do it quickly. Um, the second the second emissary is Mard, Mar, 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 Marad, oh my gosh, Maradial, or Mar, Maradal. Um, he's the rebellious one of the Klippoth. Now, remember, this is all just different uh, representations of Samael in a deeper, complex way. But uh, he is mixed with the waters of the abyss. He is the fruits of the forbidden tree. He is the, uh, see, the chalice bearer of the elixir of Samael. But it also says that, um, that uh, Adram Malik is, because Adram Malik was the one that actually handed me the chalice. So I don't know. Now, he's associated with rebellious mind, which kind of links to, like, to me, is like Akamana. Um, they have evil mind, you know, different currents, but that's what I thought of when with Akumana. Now the third emissary of Samael is Ahal. Um, this is the violent the violent the violent force of um, of of him. And uh, he's the one that initiates wars. Um, he's the art demon of conflict and opposition. Um, which he's the one that motivates the struggle, which leads to liberation at any cost. So he's the one that's gonna make things happen in your life that uh, and teach you how to win your wars. It will liberate you. The feeling of winning a war liberates you. <laughs> um, the fourth emissary is Lachat, Lachat Atel, Lachat Atel, the afflictor, the crushing one, uh, the one that crushes and stands stand whatever stands in your way that force will crush what stands in your way um he's the one that the, the self actualization uh, uh, of liberation and lawlessness you know lawlessness every time i hear lawlessness i think about belial um he's the one that uh, eliminates the enslaving forces of the thoughtful light it's funny because this this whole Abrahamic system of the th and, and the, the tree of life is so much like the Persian current with um, Ariman and this and the devas. They want to destroy the thoughtless because they know its limit and they want to go back to pure uh, co anti cosmic and like into nothing to the dark realm. Uh, the dark realm is like dark matter. You know, it's the same thing. This tree of darkness is here to destroy this tree of light within humanity to totally be free um 
but this these systems work different for everybody so you're never gonna have the same experiences because my ascension is different than everybody else's ascension so they're going to react differently but it's it's nice to see and to hear how they react for other people um, anyways um, now there's also the 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 seven gates of hell um, so the one that I went through is Gehinnom. It's the seventh hell. And it's it's like we're it's kind of the bottom of uh Lilith and the top of Numa realm. They're divided kingdoms, okay? And um they're, yeah, they belong to Na Ama Hama, which is No Ma. The upper half is the throne of Ama Lilith. And that must be opened first before you can do any further workings with the house. And uh, in the Sitra Ara, there is all of the invocations that uh, you need to say. Okay, so I was interrupted. Um. So yeah, these uh, realms in the Klopothic tree, the tree of the Klopoth, the night side tree, is going to work differently for everybody. Do not expect to have the same experiences with these entities as you would the next practitioner, because this is not going to work. But um, you do need to understand how to feel spirits and how to work with them to make sure that you're not uh, having imposters and uh, being tricked. But that comes with experience, straight up. So. But there are things that you can do, you know. But it's your it's working work. The longer you work with um, spirits, the more you're gonna have more experiences and uh, understand how the energy feel uh, feels. Now Samuel is heavily. Um, he is very into science and um humanity evolving evolving through science like i said cern he kept on showing me cern um he time travel is huge now the way i saw samuel um is a couple of forms he had a gold skull gold and he had his black robe on and he was sitting on a throne and just the pridefulness that just radiated from him. Um, he's a very prideful spirit, um, which will, uh, which will, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Rub off on you. You're going to become and take on the traits of Samael. Um, now, now what I do, what I do is I stand in front of my altar and I invoke Samael and I invoke Lilith and I let the serpents rise, the black and the red serpents rise within me and I fully take in Lilith and Samael and the, uh, as the union of us, uh, the union, you know, that is what we are, the union. And then I push out my intention and I push out my magical uh, what I want and what I need for my ascension, for um, even my material things. Well, yes, my material is huge, but um, you know, there's a lot of ego death, a lot of ego removal, <laughs> a lot of like, oh shit, you ain't shit, bitch. Oh, this ain't happening. Why aren't you here? Time's running out, being pushed, feeling trapped, wanting to fucking scream, wanting to get the hell off this planet so much to do with such little time but I know that there is no time which kind of gives me comfort when Samael was showing me how we uh, maneuver through time and that we're already fucking dead and um, it's all done and done but humans who don't understand this hold on so much to their possessions and just waste their time and I'm, th I'm pretty sure um, the 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 portals, when we open them up, create more portals and destruction. It's a very complex system. 
consciousness and subconscious. Um, you know, but that's a very dark path, rabbit hole to go down. And I know we've all been down there. But it does, doesn't doesn't do any it doesn't do any good when you overthink things and try to figure out all the answers. Why? You already know all the answers. You're, we're fucking gonna die. That should tell you something. <laughs> You're not gonna find out everything in this fucking life, okay? Unless you want to sit in a cave like a monk and just meditate. But you might do that in your next life if that's what you want. Samael is intoxicating. He does love blood. Um, I got a. He does want me to go out in the forest and open a portal for him and do a big. He is asking for lamb's blood. Mm. <laughs> lamb's blood to mark on some trees and do some craziness. <sighs> and um, I really, really suggest you using mirrors and and uh, black mirrors to open the gates and open portals through the clipopic realms. Um, and I do suggest for you do it before you go to bed, so you can go right there. But uh, he's a force of passion and war when needed. But he's not all that. Okay, he's not all war. <laughs> he's a liberator of huma humans. And you gotta take that and use it for the best. It's all, it's all up to the operator how they channel and use these forces. If you want to be destroyed and lose everything over and over and over again because you're not learning your lessons, well, that's what's going to happen. But um, you get to a certain point where you can use the power from especially Samael and Lilith to embody them and to bring that force down here so you, as a living vessel, can be a vessel for those forces. But remember, you are your own God and you have your own higher god archangel daemon holy guardian angel whatever you want to call it is already observing all of this and and it is the one that allows these forces to come through okay um so yeah heavy work a lot of purging a lot of crying a lot of self-doubt <laughs> but in the end restored, rebalanced, ready to get it, ready to conquer what I need to conquer. And um, so I've got two more weeks, I'm gonna work with him and his realm and uh, yeah, some more hells, uh, some more, you know, like some, maybe some tunnels of set. And then um, I'll make one more video if there's more that he wants me to say. Yeah, the celestial realms are a lot different. There's a lot of the... I don't know. It's very different. But I... Oh, okay. Shit. So I've seen him as the... As a Samael with the, the death. Death God. And I've seen him also as a, the archangel. Um... And a lot of angels, once you start working with one angel, they all fucking come in like, holy shit. Like, it's not that they they want me to work with them. It's just I'm seeing them because I'm in the fucking realms, the celestial realms. And they do take form as like angels. And I haven't seen them with the, how they described them originally with the crazy eyes. I see I've, they've manifest as like, I'm looking at them right here as the winged beautiful freaking angels like that's just i don't know how my subconscious does it or how they're doing it but uh samael was just <sighs> bright bright he was bright as fuck in the angelic form but he changed into his demonic form so he also came to me as a uh, black man figure <sighs> Anyways, 
that's all I'm going to tell you about Samael. If you really want to know more about him, you need to do the invocations daily, consistently, and um, with devotion. And give it time, not one or two days. Give yourself a good month to work in each sphere. You will. And if you don't get what you think it's supposed to be like, it's okay. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Then you can start it all over again. Sometimes it takes time. You have to do the, the, the tree of life, tree of death a couple times. It's not just a one-time thing. You got to do it over time. These systems are meant over and over and over again until you really can feel the current. Okay. Peace out.